If you would like to configure your own web email client that is hosted on your Synology NAS, you'll want to check out Roncube Webmail. Roncube Webmail is a browser-based IMAP client that provides features you would expect from an email client, including an address book, message search, and spell check, along with the additional features you see listed here on screen. Roncube Webmail is free and open source, and setting up a client through Docker is simple and straightforward. To learn more about Roundcube Webmail, check out their website, which I'll link to in the description below. For the setup I'll be going over in this video, I'll be doing everything through DSM and Container Manager. I'll specifically be making use of the project section from within Container Manager, where I'll be using a Docker Compose YAML file and a separate configuration file to get everything up and running. I'll also go over two different setups. One, connecting to a Synology Mail Plus server that I'm running on my Synology NAS. And the second, connecting to Gmail, where I'd like to set up access through Roundcube Webmail. These examples should hopefully provide you with the details you need to connect your Roundcube Webmail setup to any IMAP server you would like to connect to. Let's get started setting things up and note that I'm on DSM 7.2 and I've already installed the Container Manager and Text Editor packages from the Package Center. I'll be using both of those packages throughout the video, so make sure to install them as well if you are following along. Now I'll start setting up the Roundcube Webmail connection to my Synology Mail Plus server, and I'll do that by first bringing up FileStation. I'll then bring up the Docker shared folder and create a folder that I'll name Roundcube Mail Plus. Within the folder, I'll create three additional subfolders that I'll name config, db, and www. Next, I'll launch the text editor package, create a new text file, and paste in the PHP configuration needed to access my MailPlus server. I'll also leave a template of this file in the description below that you can use in your setup. I'll then save the file under the config directory that was just created and name the file config.ini.php. Now I'll bring up Container Manager, click on the Project section, and click Create to start up the Create Project Wizard. Here I'll give the project a name, set the path to the Roundcube MailPlus folder, then under Source I'll select Create Docker Compose.yaml and paste in the configuration that is needed for this setup and click Next. I'll also leave a copy of this file in the description below. I'll click Next again on this Web Portal Settings window, and click Done to complete the setup and start up the project. At this point, the Roundcube image will be downloaded, then the container will be built and configured, and when done, it should be up and running. Now I'll bring up another browser tab, enter in the address of the Roundcube Webmail container, using the host port that allows access to the container, and we can see that I'm able to connect to the container and log in just fine. Next, I'll set up a second Roundcube Webmail container to connect to Gmail. I'll start once again by bringing up FileStation and create another folder under the Docker shared folder and name it Roundcube Gmail. Within the folder, I'll create the three subfolders once again, then what I'll do is copy the compose.yaml and config.ini.php files from the MailPlus setup into this Gmail setup to provide me with a starting point for those files. Now I'll open the compose.yaml file that was copied over and update it for the Gmail setup. For this config, I only need to edit the container name and the host port to access the container. For the config.ini.php file, I'll update the configuration to point to Gmail's servers and domains, as well as change the product name to make it clear that the setup is for Gmail. Once done, I'll close the text editor as well as FileStation, and create another project from within Container Manager. I'll give the project a name, set the path to the Roundcube Gmail folder that I was working in, 
and because there is an existing docker compose yaml file from within the folder, I get this prompt. I'll leave the option to use the existing docker compose.yaml file to create the project and click OK. Here we can see the contents of the file that I edited earlier and no changes are needed, so I'll click Next and Next once again on this web portal settings window. Now I'll click Done to create and start up the project. Once everything finishes running, I'll bring up another browser tab Enter in the address of the new Roncube webmail container using the host port that was assigned to it, and we can see that the Gmail Roncube webmail GUI loads up as expected. To log into Gmail, however, you will need to set up an app password, which this Google Help article walks you through, and I'll link to the article in the description below. Basically, you need to bring up the security settings for the Gmail account you would like to set up. Expand the two-step verification section, and in my case, I need to log in again. Then I'll scroll to the bottom of the page and create an app password. If you go through the same steps, make sure to save the app password because you'll only have this one chance to view the password. Then back on the Roncube webmail login screen, I'll enter in my Gmail username and app password to log in. If you followed along, at this point you should be able to log in to your Gmail account and you should also be able to configure Roncube Webmail to access any IMAP based mail server you would like to log into. You may also want to connect to Roundcube Webmail remotely to check your email while on the go and if this is something you would like to configure, I'd suggest either configuring a VPN connection or setting up a reverse proxy which I cover in these videos listed here on screen. Also, if you would like to support my work or hire me to assist in setting up Roundcube webmail in your environment, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.